Time Wise Dedicating your time to succeed in internet marketing Whatever level you're at in internet marketing, newbie, or seasoned guru, you still need to dedicate some of your time to keep your online business growing. It can become very frustrating for many, as certain distractions can take so much time away from your general work day. If you're just starting out in the internet marketing arena, you may find day-to-day -day distractions heightened, simply because you don't have the creature comforts of an office in the middle of town, or a scheduled timetable of quality hours you can work distraction-free from home. For the vast majority just starting out, you may be at home staring at the computer confused and overwhelmed by the vast amount of information that confronts you. In some cases, you may also have children at home with you, distracting you wanting you to play or join in the fun with them. This can sometimes feel magnified just like you're sat in the middle of a bouncy castle working on your laptop, while 50 kids jump around you shouting and laughing, a very hard environment to work within. You may get up in the morning, check your emails, and get sucked into the amazing sales copy of your most favorite online guru, only to get stuck in the wormhole of endless clicking and reading of their latest released online product. Sure. It's okay to follow your favorite guru online if you're learning from them but don't let it take all your time away distracting you, time that could be better spent elsewhere within your business. As a general rule of thumb, dedicate at least three hours a day, but make sure those hours are undistracted, you can achieve so much more during that time compared with eight hours of complete distraction and madness surrounding you. Asterisk tips. Write your own timetable for each day, separating your working hours from your general everyday life, set daily goals and weekly goals, and clearly define what you'd like to achieve, then focus towards their completion. And stick to it, always ask yourself, by doing this am I achieving something beneficial to my business? Or is my time better spent in another area of my business doing something more positive? If you do work from home and look after children, maybe you can set your work times for when they have gone to school, having dinner, or after bedtime etc. It's understandable that every person is in a different situation, but if you follow these simple guidelines of working towards a better time management system for you to work from, your workflow quality will increase and pay dividends for you and your business in the future.